So this is the website that we've been developing. Um, the idea is to have all the specimen information digitized and put into a cataloging system. Um, it's because of the Human Tissue Act and the legal issues with having these images, images of human tissue available to the public, um, you can only log in through your, your college account. So once you're in, you then have access to the collection. So the, the way the museum is set up is that you have different topics or catalogs. Um, each topic covers diff a different system, um, a different anatomical or anatomical system or maybe a topic like the medical legal section. Um, within each catalog, um, it's divided by different subsections. Once you've, and then once you select the subsection within the catalog, then you have your different specimens that pop up. Um, another feature on this website is that you can access the contents of the storyline. You're able to access the storyline through the website, um, which you can see here. When we designed the website, we tried to make sure that um, it's optimized for mobile devices. So when you explore the catalog, you then have all the specimens available. And so this makes it nice so that when you walk around this when you walk around the Gordon Museum, you can have all the information in your hand. So the augmented reality we developed using a platform called Layer. And this is a software that's free to download. Um, and what you do is, once you've opened up the app, um, if you point, if you see the specimen through the screen of the iPad, then what, what you then do is you tap the screen to scan the image. And once it recognizes what you're looking at, it'll then upload, it'll then start um, overlaying some of the content that we developed. So you have a number of different media that you can put. So you can put on text, you can put in images, you could also put in sound. So right away, this is a heart and you can see we color coded the different chambers. Um, so the first, the first image we have is just to get you an uh, orientation and that just kind of orientates you to the image and with each image that we have we have corresponding this is text. Art from a 65 year old man who collapsed and died suddenly. There was no previous history of illness. The upper specimen is a sagittal section of the heart showing the left ventricle and the right atrium. Um, it's all interactive so we have the infarct um, so this is the pathology which you can see um, Again, each one would be accompanied by an audio description. Um, you can see the thrombus and the coronary territories. Um, the nice thing is that you, once it knows that you're in the museum, then you can just slide across to another specimen. And, sorry, and it'll automatically detect the other specimens. Uh, this is the storyline for the church cellar murder and we here have an introduction slide to tell what kinds of buttons you will need to use and explaining everything, how we're going to go through all the evidences and how is the trial going to be. So the trial is held in the Old Bailey on Tuesday the 7th of November of 1942. So you need to click on the door. So it's personalized for the students. They will need to write their names. And then he'll be introduced to the people involved in the trial. And he will need to go through all the people. Harry Dutkin, you are charged with and the there is always an audio associated to it. And a, are you guilty or not guilty? A subtitle. And then you will lead to all the facts presented that were presented in the trial of Harry Dobkin and you got all the facts related to the missing woman, all the facts related to the, to the crime scene and then you get laid through all evidences presented on the, on the trial as well so which one they found in the, the plan of the murder side 
now, members of the jury, also associated with audio than photos from the real I mean, crime inside. scene. Had... And then the interactive evidence, so what the actual pathologist, what he needed to know to figure out what happened. So and then you got more interactive activity this method of proving identity had been used uh, during superimposing the, uh, the skull the of, of the victim of by Dr. photos Lester, of the victims and, his wife and another woman in people they were missing at the time. The bone. Here you will need to visit the museum. So you, in this step you will need to um, use augmented reality. And then after going through all the evidences you will enter a jury room. Then in the end you got the, the conviction of Harry Dobkin. So in Storyline I also created a resource button and we installed as well a virtual museum. So if the student isn't able to uh, go physically to the museum, he can actually access a virtual museum. So and for the humors, we introduce augmented reality on it. So, with the augmented reality, more information about the specimen is available. So, you can better orientate yourself that know that this is actually a left humerus. And you can better see when the, the slake the slime found in the bone and some burn marks. Face, lower jaw. And the important uh, information that is available is the size of the bone. So with that, you, you will need to use it in the storyline to get the size of the, the victim.